Welcome in everybody. So today's tutorial is going to be a quick and simple one. This is to create a user.cfg file for those of you trying to, you know, add a bit more to the game. If you're already familiar with the game and you want to kind of run it a bit smoother, you know, this is something a lot of people are doing, but you know, honestly, there's not many videos out there on how to do it exactly. So what we're going to do, it's very simple, very quick. We're going to be going to our PC, this PC. We're going to go to our main drive, which is our C drive. We're going to double click that, open up program files, scroll all the way down until we see where it says Robert Space Industries. Double click that, open up Star Citizen here, double click live, and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down. You may or may not have this already, but it's a user.cfg file. Now if you do not have this, I will be pasting a description of everything that's in there down below. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click, or actually better yet, let's do this. Let's get rid of this one. Let's right click, let's open up, and let's create a new text document. It's going to be right there. We're just going to leave it blank for now. Um, what we're going to do, and we're going to change the name and everything once we save it. So we're going to double click that. We're going to paste the commands that I'm going to give you in the description. We're going to go to File, Save As, User, all lowercase by the way. Dot .cfg. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to change this from .txt to all files. And by doing this, I already have it, of course, I'm going to replace it. But by creating it and doing all files and creating it and saving it as a .cfg file, it's going to actually convert it from a text file, as you can see, down to a .cfg file. Now from this point, all you're going to do is you're going to launch the game like you normally do. Now if it's already loaded, you're going to want to close it or restart it. But just for an example, I'm going to show you since I already have it loaded. We're going to press our tilde key, open up the command prompt, and let's just do Q underscore to show our shader shadow. Now you can see here, this is already preset to zero now. That's working. Now if I wanted to change it to, you know, if I wanted to change it now within, I could always do that to one. And so now whenever I go to this, you're going to see it's a one. If I change it back to a zero, now when you see this, it's going to be a zero and so forth. So you can do that and check with each command. You can dive into this a little bit more if you wanted to. There's a bunch of different commands that you can utilize and save into that user file. But again, if you guys want me to create a more advanced video on this topic, please leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. Understand that I am always going live. And if you guys ever want to see future videos like this, please let me know uh, what you'd like to see next.